Hello, happy Tuesday. Um, if you are probably in the Midwest, your kids probably went back to school today. If you send them to public school, private school maybe, we homeschool. <laughs> so um, we picked up our co-op books and we did some science and math today at home. Our co-ops don't start till next week, so we take it slow in the beginning. But we have um, <clears throat> dance pictures tonight right at dinner time, which is super awesome. <laughs> that is what it is. Um, so I'm actually going to get dinner ready to go into the oven so I can put it in the oven and it can be cooking while I take my daughter to get her dance pictures. My husband gets home around that same time, so he'll be home. I can leave it in the oven, let it bake. While we're doing our dance pictures, come home and eat because it will already be a little after seven by the time we get home. So what I'm going to do is just make a spaghetti bake. <clears throat> Um, it's similar to something that my mom used to make when we were kids. I don't have her exact recipe, so I'm just going to go off of what I remember and kind of make it up as I go. But I have my Dutch oven here that I am going to cook my sauce in. And I have two pounds of ground turkey. This is um, from ButcherBox. I really love the ground turkey. This comes in a two-pack when you choose it as one of your meat selections. So... I figured I'm just gonna cook them both up. I will take out half of the meat to freeze for pizzas. If we do sausage on pizzas, I like turkey sausage as opposed to pork sausage. So I'll cook this up Italian flavored for pizzas and then the other half for our sauce. And then I will show you how I make the sauce. And yeah, so let's get going. Um, these are still pretty much frozen. Um, because I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna make until today. So I pulled them out, they're mostly frozen, so it's gonna take a little longer for them to cook, but I'm going to cook them up first, just with some Italian seasoning. Then I will pull some out, and once I do that, I will add in some garlic and some onion and the rest of my sauce ingredients. So let's get the meat going. <music> saw that I chopped up my onion and my garlic. I pulled out some <clears throat> strained tomatoes. These I get from Azure Standard. I absolutely love them. They make the best spaghetti sauce. The only ingredient is tomatoes. Um, there is no sodium added or anything like that. So you can season it to your family's liking. We absolutely love these. If you aren't familiar with what Azure Standard is, um, it is a... No, I didn't. It is a online ordering, like bulk foods, healthy foods, things like that. It's a really great company. You can check out some of my Azure hauls um, if you want to see more about that. But a lot of the products I order are from there, like the avocado oil that I use is from there. Um, I pulled out my Better Than Bullying because I use that in my broth. So I'm just going to continue um, working away since this turkey was still frozen, these tongs I got from Azure. Um, since the turkey's still frozen, it's gonna take a while, so I'm just going to keep chipping away at it. I'm gonna try to break it down into little pieces as I'm working on it. Um, and then once it's cooked down a little more, we will season it and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. While the meat is cooking, I'm pulling out the rest of my ingredients. Thrown so far. I pulled out some spaghetti noodles and some seasonings, some Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, also from Azure. I buy it in five pound blocks and I shred it and freeze it. And then I pulled out a couple eggs. I also get these from Azure Standard. So seriously, the bulk of my food comes from Azure Standard. They're such a great company to support. Um, I really love what they stand for. I love the products that they carry. So these eggs I get from them. Um, so the onions from them, the garlic was from them, tons of stuff is from Azure. So anyways, I just wanted to talk about those. I'm going to get back to cooking that meat. My meat is almost done. Um, I'm just keep, well, obviously I want to cook it all the way through because it's turkey. <laughs> you don't want to keep cook, eat undercooked poultry. That is no good. Um, so it's almost done. I'm going to just keep cooking away. But since it's almost done, I'm going to go ahead and season it a little bit right now because this will be all the seasoning that will be in the turkey sausage for pizzas. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just add in some Italian seasoning to the meat. I'm not a big measure. I just kind of season as I see fit. Um, then I've got some onion salt. This has a bunch of different kind of onions and some salt in it. Season that up. And then I've got some no salt seasoning from Costco. It's got like, I don't know, a bunch of different seasonings in it. I'm going to add that in there and just give it all a good stir. I will season the sauce more when it comes time for just the sauce, but I wanted to get the meat nice and seasoned. And I forgot to pull out my pepper, so I'm going to have to dig out my pepper and add some pepper in there. All right, got my ground pepper, add some of that in there. And again, this is kind of seasoned to your family's liking. If you like things salty or no salt or you don't like onion salt or whatever it might be, just season it to your family's likings. Italian seasoning, obviously, I think is the way to go because it's spaghetti sauce. They're <laughs> going to be spaghetti sauce. And I think the seasonings are fine on pizza because, again, same same idea. I make my own pizza sauce. So, okay. I'm just going to let this cook for a little bit longer and then I'm going to pull out half of the meat. Sorry. The landscapers are here and my dog is barking at them. Okay. So this, the onion, just cooked down a little. Honestly, I don't remember what I was saying before, but that's right. It doesn't really matter. Um, the onion is cooked down a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and add in the garlic. I think I was maybe talking about freezing that for pizzas. That that amount will make a few pizzas. I think that's what I was saying. All right. So I've got my garlic seasoning or garlic chopped up. I'm a hot mess today, you guys. This is real life. All right. Got my garlic in there. Then I'm going to use some of this better than bullion. This one is the roasted garlic base. I oftentimes will just use chicken or... Um, chicken or uh, beef, there we go, but I saw this roasted garlic one at the store and I thought I would give it a try, so I'm just going to use one teaspoon of that. Um, I just feel like this just intensifies the depth of flavor by adding in that bouillon. You could totally skip it, you could use the powdered um, bouillon, whatever you want to do, but I just like that little extra flavor it gives. And I just did one teaspoon of it, so I thought the garlic would be really good in here. I've never used that one. We got like a chili base and a mushroom base, so I'm excited to give them a try. All right, I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. Now I've got my strained tomatoes, and I'm going to go ahead and dump that in. It's probably going to splash back at me because that's what happens when you put tomatoes in a hot pan. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of water to this. Added in a little bit of water here. I'm going to put the lid on, shake it around, get the last of the sauce out. Dump that in there. Not very much, just a little bit. And just keep stirring this around. And then I'm going to go ahead and season this a little bit more. All right. I'm going to add in a little bit more Italian seasoning. And again, I don't measure. I just kind of do whatever feels right. If you like it more seasoned, add more. If you don't like so much, don't add as much. A little bit more of the onion salt. Not too much, just a little bit. And a little more pepper. And my sauce never tastes the same. Because I don't follow a recipe, I just kind of do what I want to do. Um, a little bit more no salt seasoning. So... Um, when I cook, I'm not a big recipe follower. This was totally just something that I, this was my own recipe, but it's never the same. And then I forgot I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. I always add a little sugar just to cut down the acidity. And it's really up to you how much you want to use. Just do a couple pinches. Uh, I did like four pinches, but that probably was a tablespoon or two just to cut down a little bit sorry sibling rivalry i told you guys this is a real life situation here 
Okay, I put in, like I said, one to two teaspoons of sugar. It just helps cut down that acidity. And that's it for seasonings. That's gonna go in my sauce today. Very simple. I'm gonna go ahead and just let this simmer away. Um, sometimes I'll put it into my crock pot, like if we're gonna have it as spaghetti, I will put it in my crock pot and let it cook all day, let the flavors get together, but I don't have time for that today. So I'm just gonna let it simmer. I've got my water starting to boil in my pot for my spaghetti noodles. Those are right here, so I'm going to get those going once it's boiling and then let this simmer until then. And once these are done cooking, I will show you what we're gonna do next. All right, I've got my pasta cooked and drained, and I'm gonna add in two eggs. Then I'm gonna sprinkle in some Parmesan cheese. I'd say maybe like a quarter cup, something like that. And I'm just going to toss it all together. And that egg just helps to kind of bind it all together. So sort of um, lasagna-esque, but not quite the same. I actually don't put eggs in my lasagna, but Okay, so I've got this all mixed together real well, and then I'm gonna go ahead and dig out my pan. All right, I've got my pan out. I've got a nine by 13, and I've got my sauce here. And it's just been simmering away. Okay, I am going to take my ladle, and I'm gonna do one scoop on the bottom of my pan just to kind of cover the bottom. Perfect. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and add in approximately half of my noodles to the pan. These tongs are starting to break. I should have ordered more than one pair from Azure. Half of the noodles in there. Then I am going to take my Parmesan cheese, and as I said, it's frozen, but that's totally fine because this is going to be in the oven for a while, anyways. And I'm just going to do some mozzarella. Did I say Parmesan cheese? Mozzarella cheese. Like I said, I get this in five pound blocks and just freeze it because mostly I'm using it in a shredded way, anyways. So doesn't really matter if it's frozen. All right, then I'm gonna take some more of my sauce and I'm gonna take about half of my sauce because I wanna save half of it for the top and just put it in my pan. Like I said, very lasagna-esque. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of my noodles them right in there and these are hot I didn't cool them or anything just right out of the pan and put that in there spread it out the best you can All right. and I'm gonna do a little bit of Parmesan cheese on this layer okay and then I'll just pop this back into my freezer and keep my Parmesan cheese in the freezer. And I'm gonna go ahead and then get the rest of my sauce on here. This pan is very hot. <laughs> I love this pan. I got it from, um, ordered online from King Arthur, and I absolutely love it. Rest of that sauce in there. Okay. And oh, stuck that right in the sauce. Okay, I'm gonna take my spoon here and just kind of smear it around the top. Then I'm going to take more mozzarella cheese and 
food. Just go over the top. And you can do as little or as much cheese as you like. Whatever fits your family. And you could totally do a different kind of cheese. That would be fine. I just like mozzarella because I have that on here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is throw some pepperoni. I've got some of the Applegate Natural Uncured Turkey Pepperoni. This is our preferred pepperoni. I'm really not a huge pork fan. There are very few things that I like pork and... I prefer turkey pepperoni. I will eat regular pepperoni, but I prefer turkey pepperoni. So, I am just go ahead and put this over the top. You could skip this step if you don't want the pepperoni. I just grew up with it online. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Oops, I'm not gonna use that one. <laughs> Back to that one on the floor. Okay, there we go. I just added a couple across the top there, and this is it. I am going to preheat my oven to 350, and then um, probably at about 615, I'll throw it in the oven because it will probably only take about a half an hour to bake. And then my husband can take it out and just set it on the stove and let it cool a little bit, so that way when I get home, it'll be ready to heat or <laughs> to cut and eat. There we go. I told you guys, my I am off today. <laughs> um, cut and eat and <coughs> cut and eat and then I will make I think I'm gonna do some green beans on the side and that will be dinner so stay tuned um, for a picture at the end of the completed dinner <laughs>